Netflix's Cobra Kai is a continuation of the classic 1980s franchise, The Karate Kid. Picking up decades after good guy Daniel LaRusso defeats his rival Johnny Lawrence in a karate tournament, we find Johnny's life hasn't turned out quite the way he wanted it to. Johnny was now living in a rundown apartment and working as a part-time handyman. His wife has left him and he has little relationship with his teenage son Robbie. And on top of that, Johnny is constantly plagued by ads for Daniel LaRusso's auto dealership leading to even more resentment that his rival has found such great success. After being fired from his job, Johnny encounters his new teenage neighbor Miguel being attacked by a group of bullies and uses karate to intervene. Miguel is a nerdy outcast at school who is impressed by Johnny's skills and implores him to train him. And so Johnny is inspired to reopen his old Cobra Kai dojo. Cobra Kai quickly recruits more outcasts, including Miguel's friend Lip, nicknamed after a facial scar. The Cobra Kai of Johnny's day was more cutthroat and antagonistic, and while none of the rules of the dojo have changed, Johnny does try to impart on his students more honor than Johnny Sensei John Kreese ever did. Quickly, the bullied outcast of Cobra Kai are taught not only about karate, but about camaraderie and confidence. Johnny teaches Lip to flip the narrative about his scar, so he starts styling his hair into a mohawk and starts going by the name Hawk. And Johnny grows even closer to Miguel, forming a relationship similar to Mr. Miyagi and Daniel from the original Karate Kid film. Meanwhile, Johnny's son Robbie begins working for Daniel LaRusso at his car dealership. Daniel is unaware that Robbie's father is Johnny and takes the teenager under his wing, eventually beginning to mentor him in karate. Of course, when Johnny finds out about all of this, he's furious and the old rivalry between Johnny and Daniel is fully reignited. Complicating things even more is that Daniel's teenage daughter Sam gets involved in a bit of a love triangle with both Miguel and Robbie. At the 50th Anniversary Karate Championship, the students of Cobra Kai fight dirty using similar tactics Johnny's old sensei Kreese had instructed him to use in his original fight against Daniel. Robbie also enters the tournament and fights Hawk in the semifinals. Hawk plays dirty and is disqualified after dislocating Robbie's shoulder. In the final round, it's Miguel vs. Robbie. Miguel starts targeting Robbie's injured shoulder and eventually wins the fight and therefore the tournament. As his students celebrate, Johnny is actually dismayed to realize he may have corrupted his students and is resolved to do better at imparting wisdom and character. Meanwhile, Daniel takes an injured Robbie to the home of his now-deceased sensei, Mr. Miyagi. Daniel explains to Robbie that he was going to be opening up his own dojo here called Miyagi-Do. As season one comes to a close, a drunken Johnny is confronted by his old sensei, Kreese, who praises Johnny for reopening Cobra Kai. In season two of Cobra Kai, Johnny agrees to let an apologetic Kreese rejoin Cobra Kai as co-sensei. Johnny is also resolved to do better by his students and his son, although Robbie turns down his father's apologies. The Cobra Kai dojo grows more popular, and one of the new students is Tori, who Miguel begins to date. Miguel and Hawk's old friend Dimitri tries to join Cobra Kai, but Kreese punches him and Hawk mocks him, causing Dimitri to join Miyagi-Do instead. And over at Miyagi-Do, Daniel has asked Robbie to move in with him and his family. Daniel also begins training Robbie and his daughter Sam, who are now officially dating. When Miguel discovers that Robbie is Johnny's son, Johnny explains to him how he failed once as a father but promised to do better by Miguel. Miguel tries to warn Johnny that Kreese was a bad influence on the students, but Johnny believes that if he deserved a second chance, then so did Kreese. But Kreese might not be worthy of that second chance, as the sensei instructs Hawk to break into the Miyagi Dojo and trash the place, even stealing Mr. Miyagi's Medal of Honor. Daniel, believing Johnny to be responsible, confronts his old rival at the Cobra Kai Dojo, which causes many of the students to leave and join Miyagi-Do, fearing Johnny was a bad guy. The problem is exacerbated when Johnny goes to visit a terminally ill friend. In his absence, Kreese fully takes over Cobra Kai and continues to impart more cutthroat and villainous tactics. Upon his return, Johnny expels Kreese from Cobra Kai and Miguel fights Hawk, taking back Mr. Miyagi's Medal of Honor and giving it to Robbie to return to its proper place. Johnny and Daniel begin to bond, and Johnny even confesses his continued feelings for their mutual ex-girlfriend, Allie. Johnny also develops feelings for Miguel's mother, Carmen, and the two begin to date. At a huge house party, Sam kisses Miguel after realizing he returned Mr. Miyagi's Medal of Honor. Tori sees the kiss and is saddened. Robbie, unaware that Sam kissed Miguel, takes a drunken Sam over to Johnny's apartment, fearing that Daniel would be upset about their drunken night out. Johnny agrees to let them spend the night, but Daniel finds out and storms over to the apartment, taking Sam and banishing Robbie from his home and his dojo. And to make matters worse, at school the next day, Tori announces over the PA system that she saw Miguel and Sam kissing, revealing to Robbie that he had been cheated on. Tori and Sam then start a fight that escalates into an entire school brawl. Miguel and Robbie begin to fight, and Miguel eventually gains the upper hand, but remembering what Johnny has taught him, he shows Robbie mercy. 
A bitter Robbie takes this opportunity to attack Miguel, accidentally knocking Miguel off the balcony, rendering him paralyzed and unconscious. Robbie flees the scene, and Miguel is rushed to the hospital. In the aftermath of the fight, Daniel's wife Amanda forces him to shut down Miyagi-Do. Carmen breaks up with Johnny, and the students of Cobra Kai blame him for teaching Miguel to show mercy. So they now followed Kreese as their sensei. As season 2 comes to a close, a guilt-ridden Johnny throws his phone away, unaware that his old flame, Ali, had just sent him a friend request on Facebook. In season 3 of Cobra Kai, everyone is still reeling from the massive school fight in the season 2 finale. Sam begins suffering from PTSD due to her fight with Tori, Miguel is told he may never walk again, and Robbie is on the run. Johnny and Daniel temporarily put their differences aside to find Robbie, who Daniel turns into the authorities in the hopes of earning him a lesser sentence. Robbie feels betrayed by Daniel and now feels resentful of both Daniel and Johnny. In the aftermath of the school fight, Daniel has shot down Miyagi-Do, and his car dealership isn't looking too great either. A rival businessman makes an exclusive deal with Japanese car importer Doyona that would put Daniel out of business. Daniel then travels to Tokyo to try to renegotiate a deal, but ultimately fails. Dejected, Daniel decides to go to Mr. Miyagi's hometown of Okinawa, as seen in The Karate Kid Part 2, and reconnects with his old flame Kumiko and his former rival Chosen. They both inspire and reinvigorate Daniel. To top it all off, Daniel meets Yuna, the vice president of sales for Doyona, who just so happened to be the young girl he saved from a typhoon in Karate Kid 2. Yuna allows Daniel's dealership to remain partnered with Doyona, and so Daniel returns to America re-inspired and with his business saved. And after talking to his daughter Sam about the trauma she was suffering from after her fight with Tori, Daniel imparts some wisdom on his daughter and decides to reopen Miyagi-Do. Meanwhile, Johnny stays by Miguel's side and helps train and rehabilitate him, eventually helping Miguel to walk again. This brings him back closer to Miguel's mother Carmen, just as his high school girlfriend Allie returns to town. Johnny and Allie reconnect, and she further inspires Johnny to stay on his path of redemption. But that's easier said than done, as John Kreese has now fully taken over the Cobra Kai dojo and further poisons the minds of its students. Kreese begins bringing in new members to join Cobra Kai, mostly athletic bullies, and kicks out anyone who objects to his ruthless methods. Throughout the season, the members of Cobra Kai, led by Hawk and Tori, continue to violently antagonize the former students of Miyagi-Do. This eventually leads to Hawk breaking the arm of his former best friend Dimitri. Further bolstering Cobra Kai is the addition of Robbie, who is fresh out of juvie and harboring a lot of bitterness toward Johnny and Daniel for seemingly betraying him. Johnny then starts his own new dojo, Eagle Fang Karate, with Miguel as his first student. When Miguel and Sam rekindle their relationship, they also strike up an alliance with Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do to take down Cobra Kai. When Cobra Kai attacks the newly aligned dojos at Daniel LaRusso's house, Sam conquers her fears and defeats Tori, while Hawk finally has a change of heart and joins his old friends in defeating the bullies. After learning of the Cobra Kai's assault on the LaRusso house, Johnny and Daniel confront Kreese, who now had Robbie fully on his side. Kreese agreed to leave if Cobra Kai lost the upcoming karate tournament, and then makes a call to his old pal Terry Silver from Karate Kid Part 3 to join his dojo. And so Johnny and Daniel put aside their differences and merge their dojos, working as co-senseis to train their students to take down Cobra Kai once and for all. And that's everything you need to know before seeing the new season of Cobra Kai. Let me know some of your favorite moments in the comments below, like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to this channel for more content like it. That does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.